Greetings and salutations, viewers. I am Squishy the Titan, and welcome to part 9 of Let's Play The Four Horsemen. Now, in the last video, I had probably the biggest mud butt moment ever, as I was chased by a brute, and the most unlikely of places had to backtrack all the way back to the maze to be able to lose him, because as any amnesia aficionado knows, the brute is actually faster than Daniel. And he can kill him in one hit. So, he's a much more terrifying opponent than the Grunt. Um, also, little fun fact. the uh, There's a very, very, very widely accepted theory. If you've played the main game, uh, you'll know who I'm talking about. But the Grunts and the Brutes, or the uh, Grunts at least, are... Uh, actually Wilhelm's men from the beginning of the game in the wine cellar, the people that drank are the men the men that uh, drank the poisoned wine and died in the cellar those are actually the grunts and uh, when they died, uh, Alexander used like necromancy to um bring them back to life and use them as like servants or slaves and um no, fucking no. what the hell but the brute is actually also Wilhelm what the shit what the shit oh god I am gonna die. I am gonna fucking die. Don't look at the grunt. Alright. My plan is this. RUN! Wow, that actually worked entirely so much better than I thought it was going to. Hopefully he's despawned. I believe he has. But yeah, that's the most widely accepted theory. And uh, if you read on the Amnesia Wiki, it actually makes a lot of sense the way it's explained. It's basically explained that there's only one brute the entire game, but you encounter him multiple times. And they even go so far as to like, uh, label uh, interactions with, or between the brute and the grunts that would actually um, confirm this. And also, as I found out in um, the main campaign, when I'm, because I'm replaying it, um, grunts appear to actually be afraid of Daniel. Well, not like afraid afraid, but like they're the only ones that are actually scared when you make a noise because they turn around and they go like huh! before they go and investigate and they always look a bit like apprehensive to investigate uh, like I am. It's okay, Grunty Poo. I'm scared of you, too. Is that... What the fudge? Okay. I have fallen down. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen... Why do I have the wibbles? I have a slight headache. Oh, okay, and the wibbles have gone away. Yes, I call them the wibbles because it's like all wibbly wobbly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a Doctor Who fan because, you know, I am such a well-rounded nerd. And I just thought of wibbly wobbly timey wimey. 
It's the wibbly wobbly timey wimey controls. Hello? Runt. Runty poo. Where are you? Am I now immune? I hope I'm immune. Yay! Yay! I'm immune! I have a memento. The potion is only semi-effective. Perhaps there is a way to clear the gas. Oh, it's only a semi-effective. <laughs> Owie! That hurt me. <coughs> Owie, that's hurting me. All is good. I'm, um... What is that? That is proper darkness. And these look like hiding spots. Okay. I know I'm probably going to regret that. Closing that door if I end up getting chased out of here. Because that is a pull door. That is not a push door. I don't like pull doors because, well... Pull doors tend to screw me over. But anyway, I've already died in here, so... By the way, pick something embarrassing you guys want me to do. Like, pick something you want me to do as punishment for dying. You know? Because I died earlier, and... Yeah. Like how in White Day, I died and I did the hot sauce challenge. So this is a new game, and you get to pick a new thing. Either something embarrassing or just something you think would be funny for me to do. Okay, if I need to, I can just book through there and then just throw it closed and, like, chuck the rock. Yeah, that'll work. Cool. If the grunt decides to show his ugly face. Okay, so now I'm gonna go downstairs and hopefully find the orb. I don't think that would be the only encounter in here. That wasn't very threatening. I mean, I got away from him somewhat easily. That would make for a very, very uneventful, you know, search. I could see where it would be scary, but I mean, I just kind of ran away. Alright, because these curtains are fucking made of steel. I'm going to have to actually go through the mushrooms. <laughs> oh, God. I never thought my first time trying mushrooms would be like this. Jeez. It actually kind of reminds me of Oblivion. You know, uh, I haven't played Oblivion in a while, but there are those, like, trees that you go into... Or something where, like, there are all the mushrooms laying around and shit. Oh, great. The second section. Wait a minute. Did I ever... Is that... Oh. Fully formed orb. Quite nifty. It's the origin of all disease. I'm just gonna run. Because I know I'm probably gonna end up with the length of this... At some point, I'm probably going to be chased in some way. Okay. Wait, was that just it? Was that all of Pestilence? That was! That was all of Pestilence. Damn. That was... That was rather easy. Robin, I should have listened to you. I should have just 
gone to pestilence first. Okay. Famine. Let's go to famine, because death... Hell follows with death. That seems like something I should do last. That seems like final boss status. Hi. Hey, you're not there. Anyway, liver? Nope. Oh, so I guess bo the death really is the final boss because there's no lever and I'm guessing I'm gonna have to grab a lever. Oh, this looks great. Oh, that just looks fantastic. Totally where I want to be right now. But I digress. Let's go. But even though I don't want to be here, I'm going to be there in a minute. He was doubling deeper into the abyss, something that horrified him. He knew he had nothing else to lose. This is a very, very creatively put up or put together... These are very, very creatively put together maps. That doesn't look particularly nice. What is that? Alright, well, I'm left handed, so I'm gonna go left. Oh, how about that? That happened. Okay. Ugh. So much oil. Pressing on. You're naked. I see your penis. Gross. Oh. Yeah. How about that? There's things. Okay. Now I am making a, probably you jackholes. Put it back. Well, that's not good at all. Okay. I'm gonna keep making progression because I'm actually doing pretty good in the sense of progression probably made more progression in this video than I have in ever in any other video beforehand you know in proportion oh great another brute isn't that just dandy I know he probably isn't, like, a threat just yet, but screw that noise. I ain't taking any chances. I'm at least setting up my hidey hole. Is he just going to be, like, a constant, constant threat now? Goody. Oh, fuck! There he is! Okay, well, that's just, that happened. Okie dokie. Good to know. You stay there. What am I supposed to do with that? I'm not even going to try booking away from him. Maybe if I let him kill me, I'll despawn. Or he'll despawn. Is he just patrolling around this way? Because that's wildly inconvenient for me. Reset sanity. I'm still crystal clear, so that's nice.
He is circling. Like, he's actually circling. Well, I'm gonna try uh, going through this stuff, but um, I'm gonna do that off camera because I don't think you guys need to see me, uh, you know, waiting here like it's Outlast trying to work up the courage for like 45 minutes. But um, I'm gonna do that, and I will. Uh, I guess I'm out. I'm out of time for the day, but uh, I will uh, do. Th I will start from that tomorrow. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about me. I am Squishy the Titan, and I will see you in part 10 of Let's Play the Four Horsemen. See you later, guys.